This video is for part 5, side 1 of the image creation worksheets, starting with number 4. Alright, for number 4, the original shape is 1 wide and 1 times 1 is 1, so the image shape is going to be 1 wide. Remember, keep in mind that we're going to ignore anything that's being added or subtracted anywhere. We're just going to deal with the x and y part first. All right, so now the original shape is too tall, 1, 2. So 2 times 1, because there's nothing in front of the y, so it's the same thing as a 1. So 2 times 1 is 2, so the new shape's going to be too tall. Okay, so we got all the resizing out of the way, which in this case there was none. Now the adding and subtracting anywhere that appears in a rule. Here, we're adding 2 to the y. So again, as stated before, x is the horizontal direction and y is the vertical direction. And when you add 2, you're going up, just like you would on a thermometer. If we were to subtract 2, we'd be going down. So here it says y plus 2. So all that means is we're going to move the position of the image. So instead of being here, we're going to move it two spots up. So this is moving it one spot up, and this would be moving it two spots up. So this would be the final image created shape. So the last thing we have to ask ourselves is, are they similar? Is the number before the x and the y the same? That's all we need to look at. Don't look at whether we're adding or subtracting any numbers. That does not matter. That just moves the shape. So are they similar? The answer is yes. All right, moving on to number five. Again, we're going to ignore all the adding and subtracting stuff until the very end. So let's just look at what's before the x and before the y. And again, if nothing's there, it's the same thing as one. So the original shape is three wide. So three times 1 is 3. Now since this shape is in this position, it's up 1, we're going to put the new shape in the exact same position. So 3 times 1 is 3 in the same position. Now let's look at the y. The shape is 1 tall, so 1 times 1 is 1. So we're done the size of the shape. Now, we want we can jump right down to are they similar before we start moving it real quick. Are they similar? The answer is yes, because the numbers before the x and the y were the same. All right, so now we've got to move this thing. This says x plus 1. Remember, x is horizontal. And since it's plus, we're going to go one spot to the right. So our new shape is right there but we're not done yet. It says y plus 2. y is vertical, and plus tells us to go up, where minus would tell us to go down, but this is a plus. So we're going to move two spots up. This would be one spot up, and this would be two spots up. So we move the whole shape, right one, and then up two. Number six, the rule is x, y. So the original width is three, and it starts in this position right here. So three times one is three, so we know we're three wide. The original shape is three tall, so three times one is three, so we know we're three tall. Now I started the new shape in the exact same position as the other one, and you look at the bottom left corner. That's where the shape starts. Now is there anything being added to the x or the y or subtracted from? No, nothing's there. So we're done with the shape. Are they similar? The answer is yes. In fact, since it's x, y, they're not only similar, they're congruent, which means they're identical. Number seven. <coughs> The original shape is one wide, 
There's nothing in front of the x, so that's the same as a 1. So 1 times 1 is 1, so our new shape is going to be 1 wide, and we're looking at the lower left-hand corner, which is where our new shape's going to start, our image. Now the original shape is 3 tall. Remember, we're ignoring the adding and subtracting. We're just looking at the size right now. This is 3 tall, and the number before the y <coughs> is not there, so that's the same as a 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. So our new shape is going to be 3 tall. Now let's look at the adding and subtracting part. This is telling us to add 1 to the x. So that's the horizontal direction. So when we add 1, we're going to move it one spot to the right. So we just move the shape one spot to the right. Now y plus 2 is telling us to move it two spots up. This is moving it one spot up, and this is moving it two spots up. Now, again, keep in mind, when we move the shapes, it has nothing to do with whether or not the shapes are similar. Only the numbers before the x and the y determine if they're similar, because that's what changes the shape. The adding and subtracting is what moves the shape. So are these two similar? The answer is yes. This concludes this part of the video. The next video for part 5 will pick up right where we left off, so it will be at number 8.